This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by I'm Dying Up Here, the new Showtime original drama series executive produced by Jim Carrey about a group of young up-and-coming comedians hoping to make it big in the 1970s L.A. comedy scene. But as they soon find out, there is no such thing as an easy laugh. Don't miss I'm Dying Up Here, premiering Sunday, June 4th at 10, 9 central, only on Showtime. Download the Showtime app now to start your free trial. Teach a man to fish, he'll fish for a day. Teach a man to be a fish and watch him swim away. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. Thank you to Dash Paradise for that wonderful catchphrase submission. And welcome to you, dear listener. We are certainly in the throes of May. In fact, some would say the fifth Monday of May, we would be balls deep in May, I think. Uh, (laughs) Welcome to the show. (laughs) Scott Ackerman here for another edition. And this is a special Memorial Day uh, episode of Comedy Bang Bang. Outside Youngstown Boys in the house, right? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) All right. I will never explain that to the listener. Uh, We have a very, very special show for you today. I know I say that it's special every week, but uh, I think I mean special in a unique way this week because uh, we have. Do you say that every week? I think I do. Yeah, don't I? Let's uh, let's rewind the tapes. I haven't listened to the show in years. Let's hear last week. Hey, welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. We have a special show for you today. See? (laughs) <laughs> Why was the fast forward shorter than the rewind? Because it's really fast forward. Oh, I do beg your pardon. Especially fast forward. I stand correct. EFF. Uh, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> we have a wonderful assemblage, uh, almost as if I said Avengers Assemble, like Nick Fury, and uh, but the comedian... Uh, version of that, certainly. Uh, they are the stars the and the showrunner and creator of the upcoming show. Well, it's actually, it's out, so it's not really an upcoming show. But the current show, whose upcoming season debuts on Thursday, Bajillion Dollar Properties <laughs> is the name of the show. It's on CISO, CISO.com, CISO.net, CISO.gov. Please welcome the cast and creator of Bajillion Dollar Properties, Kulavi Lysok, Tim Baltz, Mandel Mon, uh, Dana Dute, uh, <laughs> Eugene Cordero, uh, Tony Newsom, uh, Andrew Tarver, yeah. Paul F. Tompkins. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. Wow. That That's a fun. lot of names. It fell apart so fast. Yeah. Like f- three people in. Well, it's hard to remember nine people's names. In Is a row. it? Well, you go backwards, but, like, like, right? a, like a drunk. Drew Tarver. No, Tony no, no, Newsom. backwards on their names. What do you mean? Tarver Meaning, Drew. Yeah, Tarver Drew. Tarver Drew, Newsom Tony, Cordero Eugene, Adu Dan, Mon Mandel, Baltz Tim, Feel I Saw Kulop, Ackerman Scott. Not wow. bad. So you are not drunk. Not only not bad, but very good. Very good. <laughs> I think that goes hand in hand with not bad. <laughs> so, so you are not drunk currently. Or am I so functional <laughs> of an alcoholic? You know the best defense. It is for so anyone, hot right now with so many people really in this hot. room, it's especially really the hot. outside Youngston boys. I, <laughs> <laughs> never explain it. Never. <laughs> yes, Paul. Look, how could I be drunk if I'm here doing this? Mm. Interesting, right? Yeah. What does that mean? Well, because I'm not supposed to be drunk when I'm working. That's true. So therefore, I can't be drunk. Okay, interesting. So the fact that you are here means you have how not. Could I do, how could I be drunk and be doing this? That's a very good question. How could you? You can't be. Okay. You can't be drunk and do this. Paul went and Paul F. Tompkins, by the way, has been on the show many times. How, what, uh, how many times have you been drunk at work? Ooh, that's a good question. I'm going to say zero times because you can't be. You just can't be. You can't be. Even those uh, episodes of the show that you did where you drink constantly during it? You can't. Look, when you have a job, you can't be drunk at work. What about your stand-up special where you pounded like 
eight beers during it. Scott, I don't know. I was working, so... So you did not get drunk during no, it? No. You can't be drunk at work. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's explore this further off mic. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk to... Uh, let me look to the left uh, here. She is uh, the... <laughs> creator and showrunner of the show. She was recently featured uh, in Sunday's Old Gray Lady, the Old Gray Lady herself, Kulap Elisa. Hello. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Hold on. It started strong. Oh, wow. <laughs> is this how I know that your nickname for me is the Old Gray Lady? That's right. That's what oh, I... Oh, man. When I, when I talk about you, you know how some husbands say my old lady? <laughs> I say the Old Gray Lady. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm referring exclusively to your pubes. I knew it. And I knew it. And that's something that should only be kept between us. You're like uh, golden girls on the bottom. (laughs) Party on top. (laughs) Oh, man. That was just for the outside youngston boys. Mm -hmm. Uh Oh, they're in the house, certainly. (laughs) We're balls deep in the outside youngston boys. (laughs) Hi, Scott. Love of my life. Hi, how are you? Welcome back to the show. Oh, I'm so thrilled to be Person here. Person that I'm sitting next to. Well, <laughs> we are um, just, it, we're very intimate. Uh, we share things, right? We share feelings. So great to meet you. Tell me about the show. <laughs> <laughs> Third season. <laughs> I'm reading in this New York Times article, third season. No, you, you're you're also an executive producer of the show, Scott. What now? <laughs> that can't be true. It is true. Your name's on the thing and everything. Oh, dear. But you're right. I do. I am in charge of everything. That's such a good point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> now, uh, tell uh, for the listener who has not heard us speak endlessly about this show, uh, <laughs> tell us, uh, give me the elevator. 